How sad is it that the most Disney shirt I have is a Marvel shirt? Welcome to Durbania, I'm Durbin, and I'm gonna read way too much into Frozen. With Moana coming out this week that I'm really excited to see that movie. It does look really good. I thought it'd be fun to read way too much into a Disney movie. And with Thanksgiving coming and the Christmas season upon us, I thought I should do something Christmassy. This movie is not particularly Christmassy, but it does have a lot of snow and cold. And since I was born and raised in Ohio, I think of snow and cold a lot with Christmas. So that's my logic for picking this one. So reading way too much into Frozen, and don't worry, I will not mention that song. You know which song I'm talking about. Although, there is a lot to read into that song. No, we're not gonna go into that song. So when it comes to Frozen, the very first time I watched it, and you know, anytime I see any iteration of it, like went to Disneyland with my nephews, we watched them perform it live, which was kind of cool. The one thing that continuously stands out to me whenever I think Frozen is what they did first off in the very beginning of this movie and a theme that kind of followed. So in the beginning of Frozen, when Anna's running all around and Elsa's making the snow all over the place and they're having fun playing with her magic and Elsa accidentally hits Anna in the head with magic and they rush over to those like roly-poly rock trolls and what happens there really has stood out to me because what that rock troll says right there is, well, thankfully, it only got her in the head. It's really hard when it hits the heart, but in the head, that is much easier to deal with. And the very first time I watched this movie and I heard that line, I mean, my gosh, the philosophical thing in me went, wow, that was a little exaggerated. And it's really interesting that they really had to add that line in there to make that distinction. And of course, as the movie progresses and you get towards the end, you, you get to see you know, the distinction between magic in the head, hitting the head, and magic hitting the heart. And what I thought was just so interesting to me about that was, it's like, yeah, in real life, sometimes when we get things stuck in our head, it's annoying. But if something's in our head, it's easier to deal with, it's easier to, to bring those thoughts captive than it is if something moves down from the head into our heart, into the core of who we are. Because when things hit the heart and get inside the heart, it affects our actions, it affects who we are, it, it comes in and affects the core of us. So for good or bad, if something hits the heart, it impacts a lot. And then from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So you could just tell that a lot comes from the heart. One thing the Bible says, above all things, guard your heart. So the heart is a very important thing to guard. And we see that in this movie. Like the head thing, they didn't really go back to that much when she got hit in the head, other than having that little white streak down her ponytail or whatever. But at the end of the movie, where she gets hit in the heart with magic, we really watch it kill her. I mean, we get a visual representation of this thing impacting the core of who she is as we slowly watch Anna's life seep away from her. And what's interesting that made it so hard to deal with what's in the heart, the only thing that could take care of it is an act of true love. And I have to hand it to Disney for this. I did like that the act of true love was not true love's kiss in this movie. The prince and the princess, and the prince who knew the princess for maybe five minutes gives her true love's kiss. How is it true love? When, when the prince barely knew her, seriously. So I thought that was really interesting at the end when Anna, though dying, defends her sister Elsa in an act of true love. And the act of true love and selfless love where she laid down her life for her sister. I just really like that picture in this movie of how that act of selfless love redeemed her. It healed her. It brought her back to life. It gave her life back. And I really like that message because I think that message is true to real life. I think at one point or another, all of us have had bad things into our heart that affects the core of who we are that can kill us from the inside out, whether we know it or not, whether we feel it or not, that affects who we are and what we're doing. And I know what saved me, it was a selfless act of love, where Jesus died on that cross where he didn't have to, to give me brand new life. And it was that selfless act of true love that has saved me. So that's what I read into it, how that selfless act of love is incredibly redemptive and I really enjoyed that picture presented to us in Frozen. If you saw Frozen, 
what do you read into that movie? What kind of things do you see? Make sure to let me know in the comments. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button and become a Durbanian. Be on top of all the new videos coming out here on Durbania. On Thanksgiving, we are gonna do a Thanksgiving special edition. And I think that's gonna be fun. My wife, Laura, and I are gonna be talking about movie characters and what we think those characters are thankful for this Thanksgiving. Also, Moana's coming out. So be looking out for that review and all that fun stuff. So hit that subscribe button. Be on top of all of that. I'm Durbin. Thank you so much for checking out Durbania.